Dear students, today we are going to discuss the topic comparing quantities. As the name itself suggests that comparison of quantities. For comparison of quantities, what we do? We use ratio, percentage, profit, loss, profit percentage, gain percentage, etc. You must have gone through many uh, examples in your daily life like you must have heard someone saying Rita's height is two times more than Hari's height. What does it mean? It means Hari's height is half of Rita's height. You must be knowing that Cheetah's speed is six times more than man's speed. It means man's speed is one by six of Cheetah's speed. Now we see that Seema's height is equal to 150 centimeter and Mohit's height is equal to 135 centimeter. Now we find the ratio. It is Seema's height Seema's height upon Mohit's height this is 150 upon 135 now convert it into lowest form divided by 5 5 is a 15 0 5 to the 10 then 7 30, uh, 5 7 is 35 divided by 3 10 times, 9 times, it is 10 upon 9, which is equal to 10 is to 9. When the annual examination result comes, you must have heard that someone has got 90%, someone has got 95%, etc. Suppose there are two students, Samriddhi and Bria. They are two students. Samriddhi and Bria. Samriddhi has got 88% and Bria has got 81%. Then who has got more marks? Then Samriddhi has got more marks by 8%. Bria has got less marks by Samriddhi has got more marks by 7%. And Rhea has got less marks by 7%. So, percentage is a better method to compare the things. Suppose there are two students like Mohit and Shyam. They study in two different schools. Alright. Mohit scored 400 upon 500. And Shyam scored 300 um, 69 upon 600. Alright. Then who scored more marks? Because the total marks are different. So it is very difficult to say who scored more marks. Then what we will do? We will convert it into percentage. By multiplying it by 100, we will convert it into percentage. This is cancelled. This is this is 80% and this is what? We will divide by 3. Now, 123 upon 2, 6 times 12, 2 on the 2, 61.5%. Alright, then who scored more marks? Mohit scored more marks. Even when the total is different also, we can easily find out percentage and we can compare two things. Which is more and which is less. Which is greater and which is less. We can easily compare it. Now we will see meaning of percentage. Now you see meaning of percentage. Meaning of Percentage. Percentage 
percentage is derived from latin word latin word percenta percenta which means which means out of 100 if i say 20% means what 20 part out of 100 If I say thirty percent, this means thirty out of hundred. All right. Now, suppose Dia is making a dollhouse by using colorful strips. All right. Now we see the case of Dia. She is making a dollhouse using colorful strips. Colors. Number of strips. number of strip fraction fraction percentage what are the colors she is using green blue red and yellow this is 40 districts 26 districts 35 districts and 25 districts total is you just total it is 100 now what is the fraction out of 100 we have used 40 districts of green so it is 40 upon 100 out of 100 we are using dia has used 26 districts of blue 26 upon 100 out of 100 dia has used 35 red strips 35 upon 100 and out of 100 dia has used 25 yellow strips 25 upon 100 now we need to convert it into percentage now we need to convert it into percentage how to convert it into percentage you just simply multiply it with 100 so it is 14% 26 upon 100 into 100% it is 26% now 35 upon 100 into 100% so it is 35% now 25 upon 100 Into hundred percent, so it is twenty five percent. I suppose it is clear. Percentage when total is not hundred. Suppose we have a bag. We have a bag in which three colors of balls are placed. Now we have green ball. it is a green ball green ball green ball now red ball red ball red ball blue ball blue ball and blue ball now colors number of balls number of balls fraction 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 percentage colors is green how many green balls are there in the bag 1 2 3 4 4 so green balls are there how many red balls are there Three red balls are there. How many blue balls are there? Three blue balls are there. Total four plus three seven. Seven plus three it is ten. Now you have to write down it in fraction. Four balls out of how many balls? Four balls out of ten balls. So it will become four upon 
10 red balls are how many red balls are there 3 red balls out of 10 so it will become 3 out of 10 how many blue balls are there 3 blue balls out of 10 so it is 3 upon 10 now we are going to convert it into percentage so 4 upon 10 into 100 percentage it is 40 percent now 3 upon 10 into 100 percentage for converting fraction into percentage we just simply need to multiply it with 100 so it is 30 percent it is 3 upon 10 so again we need to con in to make it into percentage we simply need to multiply it by 100 so it is 30 percentage. Now I suppose it is clear. Now you see how to convert fraction into percentage. It is very simple to convert fraction into percentage. Just you simply need to multiply the fraction with 100. Like it is 3 upon 10. We are converting 3 upon 10 into percentage. So we are multiplying 3 upon 10 into 100. We are multi multiplying 3 upon 10 by 100. 0, 0 cancel and we got 30 percent. Like this, we convert fraction to percentage. You can even cancel it like this. You can even deduct it to lowest, lowest form. And then also you can do this form. 2 upon 5 into 100. Even then you will get 40 percent. Clear? Now, how to convert decimal number into percentage? Decimal numbers, there is a simple method. Decimal number is also multiplied by 100. To make it, to make, uh, per, uh, to convert it into percentage, decimal number also needs to get multiplied with 100. You see, to convert decimal number to convert decimal number into percentage suppose you have decimal number 0.75 there are two methods of converting 0.75 into percentage first is you simply multiply 0.75 into 100 percentage. It is 75 0 0. So after two decimal uh, after two digits the decimal is placed. So from the back after two digits the decimal will be placed. It means 75 percent. Second method. Second method is 0 0.75. You need to convert it into percentage. You just remove the decimal. After decimal there are two digits. So after one there will be two zero. And you just multiply it with 100. This is percentage. 100, 100 cancel. So you will get 75%. Alright. Now we have seen how to convert fraction and decimal into percentage.